Just lay this out for us. How big of a change is this for Apple to negotiate directly with the mines for their cobalt supplies over the long term? Well, certainly Jack Farchi, who wrote this story, um, you know, was told that this is unprecedented for Apple. And I think it's really just indicative um, in broader terms of how crazy the market for, for cobalt has become as a result of all of the car makers trying to rush in to secure supply for rechargeable batteries. It, it's an absolutely massive disruptor for the industry. And, and just to sort of put it into perspective, one of the things he notes in the story is that a smartphone uses about about eight grams of cobalt, right? That's about a quarter of an ounce. So it's a very, very tiny amount, even when you consider how many smartphones there are out there. An electric car uses a uh, thousand times that. So we're talking about 17 or 18 pounds of cobalt. Bloomberg New Energy Finance estimates there will be a million car sales, electric car sales, this year. There's a report from Crew that says that if you were going to replace all of the billion cars on the road uh, with Tesla Model Xs, you would need twice the amount of reserves of cobalt that actually exist in the world that we're Whoa. aware of right now. So massively, massively disruptive to this industry. Wait, Danielle, and what's, Apple's clearly worried. Danielle, what's cobalt? What's cobalt? Yeah, just, you know, Co for people who aren't <laughs> familiar with it, which includes me, like, what is it? It, it's an element, it's a byproduct that's mostly found with, um, with nickel or copper or silver, which is in itself complicated because it means you can't ramp up the supply of it the way you would with a lot of other mining elements. It has to be sort of economically viable, the entire bundle. Um, in terms of how it's used in batteries, my 13-year-old actually explained this to me recently. So you've got an anode and a cathode. The cathode has the cobalt, and basically the battery mm. works, I, I understand, by sending the electrons right over, and then you replenish it. You you reverse the electrons when you recharge it. <laughs> that was That's a fantastic more, more explanation of what cobalt was. That was great. Uh, with a lot of these uh, sort of niche elements, niche commodities, like they spike and then suddenly new supply maybe down the road comes on because after, a tr after anything triples in price, people then go to look for more. Are there areas of the world that have a lot of cobalt that just aren't being mined right now, which theoretically could become economically viable? Maybe. Um, I mean, right now, more than half of what comes out or, or is being supplied is coming from the Democratic Republic of Congo, and there are a bunch of problems with the DRC that, that don't make it an ideal supplier. The next players are quite far behind. So you've got Canada, um, China as well, Russia, Australia. They all produce some cobalt, but there, there's a ton of greenfield exploration going on right now. I actually went to Cobalt, Ontario in September, which is this tiny little town in Canada, uh, and it's filled with prospectors right now who are combing through the old abandoned silver mines trying to find out whether or not there may still be some cobalt there. There uh, is cobalt being explored for in Sweden, it, all over the world, hundreds and hundreds of these projects. The thing is, though, it's greenfield, right? And it takes a long time to bring a mine into production. You're talking a decade sometimes or more. So it doesn't, it doesn't solve the immediate supply problem given how fast the demand for electric vehicles is growing. And obviously Apple is trying to deal with that. Daniel, what about smuggling? Because I read that a lot of this is actually being smuggled across the border into Zambia as well, and it's a significant cost when you've got two thirds of supply coming from, from the Democratic Republic of Congo, as you mentioned. Yeah, I, I don't know um, much about cobalt smuggling. I will tell you that there are serious problems in the DRC, right? I, I mean, in 2016, Amnesty International um, alleged that Chinese suppliers were supplying Apple and Samsung with cobalt from the DRC that was coming from mines that used child labor. Now, Apple has since mm. said that they want to verify that their supply is ethical, but it, it does make things pretty complicated. And there are problems dealing directly with the DRC as well, although the DRC has said it would like to deal directly with car uh, manufacturers and battery makers. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to deal directly with Apple. Uh, I don't know whether or not Apple would want to deal with the DRC 